and Charlene Hawks with a special guest on the sideline. Brad with me, just trying to blend in on the Michigan sideline. Chicago Bears quarterback Jim Har Harbaugh, also a former Michigan standout as quarterback. Uh, well, how would you rate Elvis Gerback and his future in the pros? Well, he's got a bright future, no doubt about it. He's got all the tools. Uh, you know, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, got a very strong arm. So uh, I look forward to seeing him go high in the draft this year, probably first round. What about Michigan's chances for a national championship? Well, they're there. I mean, uh, they get Washington at the end of the season. They got to take care of Illinois and then Ohio State and then uh, a showdown in the Rose Bowl. That's all they can do and just end, uh, hope for Miami to, to lose a ball game. All right, real quickly, what about the score tomorrow night? Uh, well, uh, the Cincinnati Bengals, Chicago Bears game, in your face, yeah. Uh, that'll be on ESPN. Uh, we, we need a win, you know, so our team has uh, definitely got their game faces on, and uh, you know, we'll be looking uh, just, just a one-point victory would be fine with us. All right, again, tomorrow night on ESPN, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, the Bears and the Bengals. Thanks, Jim. Jim Arbaugh had Al Noga and Chris Goldman and John Randall and Henry Thomas in his face on Monday night. And he'll try to rebound with a win tomorrow night against the Bengals. Well, I don't know why we don't make Jim feel very comfortable being at home on the Michigan sideline. We'll bring Bo down the sideline and scream in his Somebody face. Somebody to yell at. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer Esiason got the Bengals back in the win column last week with a three-touchdown performance. And Neil Anderson and the Bears will be the opponent tomorrow night as we kick off our NFL coverage on ESPN.